Hello everybody and welcome back to my uh, video log, to my channel. Uh, this is the Ayama, I hope I said that right, I'll put it up on the screen. The MX50 SE. These are the, the two amplifiers, um, left and right channels. I've got it hooked up to my power supply here. Uh, now the reason why I'm not using uh, the other transformer I was showing you the other day for, to build a power supply for this is because I like to keep an eye on the current. I like to be able to show you as well what current it's using as we're putting some power through it. Also, I've been playing around with this for the last hour or so at 25 volts, it works great. I'm trying to get it to distort. I can get it to distort on my picking it up on this air microphone because this microphone um, is not set up for this type of you know, high level input when I've got it on that loud. So it's a bit of an unfair comparison to try and make with it. What I was, like I said, I've been playing around at 25 volts, it's great. I can't hear anything dodgy going on with it. Even if I turn this up now and just do a quick little uh, test for you to, to hear. So this is at 25 volts now. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the power off. Now listen. Did you hear that? You got that little bit of noise where um, you turn the power off to your amplifier and you'll hear your speakers just, you know, I, I don't know whether that's uh, because there's current going back or, you know, but it's, it's a coil system, so there's some there's some wizardry going on there. Uh, let me turn it back on again. Nothing. You know, so that's nice because we played around with the LM1875 kits. And they, that was one of the things that annoyed me about it, is you had that popping going on and off. Uh, and it sounds pretty good. Uh, with the switching on and off the source, you can also do that. Sometimes you'll have a, a noise from the source being switched on and off when the amplifier is on. And here, we don't have that. I'm using this uh, Hybe. This is the Sabre um, Pro, R3 Pro. The High BR3 Pro Sabre. I don't know, it's got Sabre written on the side. Look, if you can see that. There you go. It's being a bit of a weirdo. It's trying to keep that back in there. Um, nearly knocked me coffee over. Uh, so, look, I mean, we can put this up at 25 volts. I'm going to just turn that up a little bit. There's no point me turning it up too loud because the microphone would distort. We can put it up to a reasonable level there. 45 on there. Let me take a little peek at the current. And I'm just going to turn it down to 12 volts. Well, just give it a few seconds first. The, the bass representation is beautiful. It all sounds really nice, actually. And back to the start, I'm going to turn this down to 12 volts, keeping that same volume. So 12, 13 volts if it was in a car. That's 12 volts, it's easy to set the power supply to 12 volts. From here, I'm just listening for any uh, deficiency in the bass. Sounds nice. Well, I'm just going to turn that down. Let's back out of here. Uh, I'm going to go in one actually if we can. That'll do. Give me the things where it says one. There we go. Uh, right, so look, this is the speakers I'm using. Uh, they're 3030 is acoustic. A acoustic, Q acoustics. And there's a Q acoustic, that's a 2020. Or a 3020, sorry. Ah, you may ask, well, why have we got two different speakers there? Well, one, because I popped 
the other speaker, the other bigger one. I popped one of these and I still haven't got a replacement cone for it. And um, and besides, it doesn't sound too bad with those two like that up there. The speaker is pressed right against the wall there. So basically the port's been pretty much shut off for the bass. So the bass that you can hear, because uh, that goes down to 46 hertz, that particular speaker. The other one there, I think it's like 76 hertz. So, you know, you're not going to get the greatest out of that. But they're both award-winning speakers. They're pretty damn good speakers anyway. Um, and these are what I use on my bench at the moment. So soon it will be those two with both 46 hertz jobbies. But let's just pop that back on. Um... So yeah, what I can tell you about it is it sounds, it sounds nice, it sounds pretty good. It's, it's, it's a hard one for me to test. I'll turn that off. I wish I could uh, play, I mean I was listening to the Beach Boys, Good Vibrations, right? Now I don't know if you've ever listened to that track, but there's, there's a lot of bass in that. Now all my stuff, no matter what I have when it comes to music, I set it flat. There's none of this graphic equalizer stuff going on, there's no tweaks here, no tweaks there. I want speakers that represent, as true to what it's supposed to sound like as possible. That's how I choose all my stuff. I don't want anything that's enhanced, which is why I stay away from things like bows. And uh, there's quite a few out there. I mean, if you have, any of you got any of the Alexa gear, Echo, or Dots or anything, you know how bassy they've been made to sound. They don't sound realistic. So all my stuff is flat, and that's exactly how I like it. Uh, so when I listen to stuff, I know that I'm getting what the artist intended and not what the uh, speaker company or, you know, the, the fiddling about. Now, some people, you know, they'll, they'll probably not like me for saying that sort of thing. Is that, uh, that they want to be able to do those sort of things, which is fair enough. Uh, but for me, I don't. So there's... Nothing added, nothing taken away when it comes to like bass or treble or mid-range or anything. It's all, you know, as close as I can get it to how the artist intended, because that's, that's how I like to listen to my music. You know, how the artist wanted me to. So, uh, what you're getting out of this then is, you know, as far as I can do with my setup here, is uh, closest to the true representation. And I think it sounds very nice. There's nothing dodgy about it, and that's what I've been looking for. On my other system, I've been doing this thing called preamp rolling, and uh, I'll get into a little video about that soon, because I've been trying to do blind study on that, which is um, a bit more difficult than you might think when you're switching preamps in and out using the same tracks. Uh, uh, not preamps, uh, yes, uh, uh, operational amplifiers, in and out audio operational amplifiers. That's all been good fun. But yeah, for this one, it's, it's, it's good. It's, it's, it sounds good. I'll, I'll play out the last, uh, last track. I'll go back to that one that we had on before. Oh, that's some of the stuff that I got on here. We don't want any of that really into modulation. We go for this. Uh, I don't want anything that doesn't have. What's this? No, that's got a load of his built into it. So we're just going to play this track out. Oh, it is nine minutes, just out of ten minutes. We'll play this out. Thanks for uh, watching, thanks for clicking on the, on the channel guys and thanks for being a support the way you have been and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.